Let me set the stage for you guys real quick. Past few years of Madden, I've been definitely, you know, struggling. I'll keep it a buck. I've been mid. See right here, Madden 23, I was ranked the 24th best player. And honestly, I don't think I was, you know, even up there. I was only given that rank because of the accolades and the achievements and the hard work I put in the previous Maddens. Even going into this year, I was first term of the year, I struggled. I got 43rd on the ladders and I didn't even make day two. But as the year progressed and I got better and better, started gain momentum. I started to find my stride. I made a nice couple runs, ultimately leading us to here and today. Final MCS tournament of the year for a lot of people. If I make this live event, if I'm able to win four straight Madden matches, I'm able to make the Madden Bowl. You guys know how important the Madden Bowl is to a lot of competitors, the brand, the money. It's ultimately, you wanna make that final tournament of the year. Let's see if I could do it today in these upcoming videos. Follow me along on this journey and let's see if I could get back on track. I played the adventure of 6-1 in one of the biggest Madden games of my Madden 24 season. We're playing Mills today. Check out this video. He has Peyton Hillis with Freight Train. How am I gonna make a tackle? How am I gonna pick up the 6-1 Cheese Blitz? Stay tuned and watch the full breakdown of me versus Mills, round three. $2,500 game, by the way. A lot of money on the line. Watch till the end. Appreciate you guys. Mills, the 6-1 god in round three. Here we go, guys. Uh, both of us are gonna be rocking Lamar Jackson, LJ8. I do have hosts in this gameplay, and we're gonna get ball first. Like I said, Mills runs this 6-1. He's literally the inventor of the 6-1 defense that's been haunting Madden since, I wanna say Madden 22. And before that, man, Mills was even filthier on defense. So. Definitely a defensive player we're playing today. As you see right here, we're setting up our audibles, setting up our formations in this Eagles playbook. Like always, Eagles, Colts, same deal, same playbook. And yeah, man, we're setting up our bubbles. We're setting up our RPOs. Because like I said, one thing about 6-1 is, you know, you got to test their run D. Not really the run D, their RPO D is right here. Mills was ready for that. We were, you know, he's a 6-1 vet. Luckily for us, TG30, Todd Gurley gets a good amount of yards. Um, right here, nice little corner route, fit the... Fit the, fit it into this close window to Larry Fitz and right here Mills's user is sleep his adjustments were not set up and we're gone Julio Jones to the Baja number six and here we go man This is what you guys have been waiting for Peyton Hillis I am shitting my pants playing this dude for some reason he passed his first play in completion We get some nice disengages and obviously you guys see it too. We're running 6-1 to see right there Peyton Hillis breaks that tackle with that first one free or wrecking ball whatever it's called and right there, we are able to get some nice pressure. And you see it right there. My man's is coming out, going for it. Single back wing slot on fourth and 16. My man Mills runs this wing slot better than almost anyone else. Um, there's really, it's very hard to stop it. Right there, that, I don't know if that was open or not. We get lucky overthrow. And that's such a huge break for us. Because right now, we're going to go up quickly early 14-0, man. Um, we start off this game super hot super high powered. He somehow blocks our kick That was honestly like that's that should have been a point in my favor I should have paused the game get that I got the admin and asked for my point, but we didn't right here um, We're in like I said, we're in the six one. I have really no run D Versus wing slot. So I just said, you know what? What would what would what would what would you know? What would what would be the best case scenario run six one against him? You know, it's kind of counterintuitive because he runs six one himself but man, it's the best run D. You get some crazy B gaps. I see right there, Aaron Donald wanted to come in free on that B gap, uh, but he doesn't. And he ends up actually making that read, good read, but we have the KOs on the outside. Calvin Johnson knocks, his, knocks it down for us. Right here, we're playing phenomenal run D. That's really what I wanted in this game. Make Mills pass. Mills is not a passer. He's a runner, in my opinion. He's gotten better at passing over the years, uh, but he is a runner. It's right here. We're going to set up our defense. Everything is open, honestly. I won't lie, but that's why we run 6-1. That's why we send four. Single back. If you run single back, you know the disengages, the B-gaps are insane. It's very hard to run single back this year. People who run single back are in for a world of trouble. It's right here. Very, very nice patience. We're able to drift out of the pocket, and hit tight end Gronk with that post route. And right there, TG30. I've been telling you guys. I've been hitting people with that wheel route out of that bunch strong nasty. If they run cover zero blitzes, I'm going to hit you with that wheel route to Todd Gurley. He's fast. It's a free yards. Um, and man, just like that, we're going to go up 20 to zero in the first quarter. I was going to go for two, but I'm like, nah, there's no point in. I got my kick illegally blocked. Not illegal. You know, he didn't do it on purpose, but I should have got my PAT. I should be up 21 to zero right now, but we'll take a 20 to zero game. I'm not going to chase points right here. We're actually playing RI defense at corner out. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'll let you throw that corner out all game. If you get not much time, that's cool. I'm already up. 
three possessions. This is like the best start you could have. And see right there, Kyle Williams with that inside stuff going crazy. And we're starting to dial up the pressure, man. I'm not just going to sit back and send four every play. We're going to mix it up right here. We play Contain D. Honestly, a pretty bad user. He had that like like that curl sitting right in the middle of the field. And we gave it up. And then right here, he just throws this. That's not open, man. I had, a, I had a zone right there. That's just not open. Is that a dot or is that not a dot chat? That is not open in my opinion. We have a KO there. He's got to swat that down. My user was in the area too. Like that's just got to be a incompletion. But it's all good. We're cooking up right here. I think he highballs that. Good pass right there. I clicked on perfectly. Josh Allen should have, you know, snagged that. He's six foot five with that lurk artist. He should have picked that, but it's all good. Right here, Peyton Hillis. We're making him look kind of mid. I don't know. I was scared to play Peyton Hillis at first, but man, we are getting after TJ Watt is turning up for the team. We could we could feel the win, bro. This is a $2,500 game. We win this. We'll be in a win and get in scenario, bro. Let that sink in. We got to just close this game out, man. We're up 20 to 3. He does get ball a half, but we just got to get some points right here and we'll be good. Right here, double post, Julio. We hit him first play. He wasn't, he wasn't open. Second play, we got him the ball. Right here, we're cooking up. Tied in apprentice, Gronk. Corner out left sideline. And man, I'm telling you, when my bunch is on this side of the field, I'm cooking up dots. Right there, tight end post to Gronk. He can't stop him. He's manning him up. It's not working. And right here, Todd Gurley is going to fight for us all the way down to the one. That's honestly better for us. We get to take a timeout, and we are able to get into the end zone. The 5-3-0 gang stand up. We're up 27-3, to man. We are playing phenomenal football right now. That should have been a pick. I don't know why it didn't let me click on. I was not able to click on, but it is all good. I give up that tight end post. Um, I was thinking I was going to get a KO. Pretty bad defense, honestly, if you ask me. We decided to blitz him, and it works. Like I said, you run single back, you're going to be in a world of trouble, bro, unless you're rolling out every play with those, you know, I know how, you know, guys know what I'm talking about. The QB rollout was un insane under center. But, bro, stuff like that is going to happen all the time if you try to pass and sit in the pocket under center. You're going to get B-gapped, A-gapped. It's not fun, man. I even run a little bit of wing slot. I run the RPO stretch. And then I try to pass out, pass out a mesh spot. You just sometimes can't. You get B gapped, A gapped. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the amount of A gaps I'm getting is kind of insane in this game. But I'll take it, bro. Anytime I, I get to play defense and just kind of play a little bend, but don't break defense, I will take it. Especially with the lead I've gone so far, we've been playing an amazing football, man. We're so close. We could we could feel it, bro. We could feel the live event. All we have to do is continue locking up and playing D. Right here, the contains. He drifted off too much. Set the contains up, and it was good to go. Right here, tight end corner out. He had it. He honestly got cheated right there. Should have been a completion. Bad luck for him. We sent everyone. Peyton Hillis, he almost caught to the outside edge, and it would have been gone. Thankfully for us, we were able to hold the door, hold the line. Right here, man. I'm going into true clock mode. And what did I tell you? What did I tell you? You cannot run single back in this game. I'm going to rewind that real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. I come back, uh, come out on single back. I want to do a tight end post. Nah, bro. You cannot run single back versus 6-1. The disengages are insane. It's right here. That dude, Everson Walls, not many people use him, but man, Mills did this little 6-1 lineup glitch to get corners at the outside linebacker position. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Boom, this is Kyle Hamilton. This is Everson Walls. See right there. Not people, many people do the lineup glitch, but hey, if you guys want to do a lineup glitch, it's out there. Just do your research. You could get players like cornerback Randy Moss at, at linebacker or at user. You get players like Peppers at linebacker or user. You know, like you could get some insane players at those spots. Me personally, I'm using the two lurk artists because they jump insane. And see right there, back to back disengages. Aaron Donald is going berserk right now. Right there. Why am I going for a pick? It lets him get a first down. There's no reason to go for a pick right there. Right there, Kyle Williams wanted to shed so bad. That should have been another pick. Man, oh man, I'm playing pretty good defense. I mean, it also helps when these dudes are running in free and just wrecking havoc is right there. Again, look at the nano detection, man. This is actually like I was having a boatload of fun in this gameplay. Right here, should have been another pick. I don't know why my players are selling, but we're up 6-30. to 30. There's nothing to fret about right now. We actually give this up somehow. That was a great play design. Great play. Um, right there, another A-gap, man. Count the amount of times I'm getting A-gaps as Kyle Williams almost came in again. Man, oh, man. I don't know. I got I might have to try that versus, versus Gun or Bunch or something because, bro, those dudes are coming in free. They were getting nano-detected, but, man, 
They're coming in free. Something, something's working, right? We're up 12 to 30 now. He ends up scoring finally his first touchdown of the game. And honestly, in this scenario, we got to just recover the onside kicks, which is the scary part. But from there, just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, kick three. That's what we do. First two downs. Bad stick work right there. That could have easily been a first down, maybe more. Terrible stick work. Right here, Um, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I, I try to pass for the first. I should have just fell down, got the first. Right here, Mills dials up the pressure and finally gets me off the field. So, honestly, in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm cooking on offense. I don't really need to trip out too much. But he finally played some good D. I want to say, I want to say, man, I really want to say it's because I got the ball on like the middle of the field. Not only the middle of the field, but like, you know, I just didn't get a, like a drive to work up the field. I kind of just got the ball here, do whatever you want. And it honestly kind of messed with me, especially because I ran the ball first two downs. But Mills, he has one timeout. There's a flag right there. Not too ecstatic about that. Tyreek Hill is able to get out of the bounds to the seven yard line. He's in this mo mode where he has to preserve time and score as fast as he can. And that's what he does, man. So, I don't know. Is 19 to 30 now? He has one timeout. I mean, I was up, what, 20? I was up 24 points. No way we fold this, right? There's really no way we fold this. Like, I, don't, I, I there's no way we fold this, right? This is literally impossible. So you would think, right? So right here, just continue running the ball. I shouldn't mix up my run plays a, a lot more. Right here, he screams at us. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not in field goal range. I didn't have the best kicker. I should have, I don't know what I was doing. I literally, I do not know what I was doing. He picks me off. I'm low-key getting nervous now, man. I'm low-key shit in my pants. Because this would be easily the worst fold in MCS history. But, you know, we still have it. All we had to do is really, all we had to do, he cannot score before the two-minute warning. And the big thing is we got to recover the onside. But, like, he's low-key cooking up now. My disengages aren't coming in free. He's rolling out. He's throwing tight end corners. Right here, this is the biggest tackle. And we are able to make the tackle. So, this pretty much secures if we get the onside kick, we win the game, right? Mills is going to roll out again. And he does some complete ass shit. I have no idea what he does. But that's going to secure the game. I'm going to rewind it real quick. What is bro doing? He just pitched the ball back to no one. I don't know what he was doing. But I will take it. The nightmare is it's, it's gone. The nightmare is gone. We don't have to worry anymore. He's going to pause the game. We've had an amazing first half. Amazing first quarter. And from there, we kind of did stall out. I don't think we scored a point in the second half. But man, we were able to get the job done. Three games down, one more game to go. If we win this final game versus um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it cool who we're playing, man. But this dude has made a live event this year, and he's really good. He made a finals actually this year. He's really good. He's had my number all year. If you if you guys could guess who we play, obviously some people already know. This is not like new news. This is kind of old news. But man, guess in the comments, and I don't know, you might win a prize or something, but if we win that game, we're going to the Madden Bowl, man. It's actually kind of insane to think about. We're going to the live event. Um, just so stay tuned. One final game in this like, kind of mini series, uh, this comp series. I really haven't posted any MCS like videos all year. So, you know, here's my uh, here's me returning the favor, coming back, making my return. So I'll see you guys in that final video, man. Stay tuned. It's insane matchup. Uh, a lot on the line. A lot. Like, I'm telling you, a lot on the line. So stay tuned to that. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. If you enjoy the content so far, I'm making my return to YouTube and Twitch. So bear with me, man. I've been, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been a uh, MIA, but you know, I'm trying to make my return. So hopefully, you guys show me some love and watch these videos and support me. So until next time, I'll catch you guys in the most important game of my Madden 24 season. Next video. Stay tuned to that.